Welcome to the Nagalieri General Ability Test Training. Hello, my name is Kim Lansdowne. I'm one of the authors of the Nagalieri General Ability Test. And in this video, I'm going to help you gain a better understanding of national and local norm options. So let's get started. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand the differences between national and local norms, determine best practices of when to use national and or local norms, and finally understand how scores are displayed and interpreted for the different norms that you're using. The Nagalieri General Ability Tests measure general intellectual ability using test questions that have verbal, nonverbal, and quantitative content. Each of these three measures were designed with equity and fair representation in mind for use across diverse populations. Equitable representation is influenced by the local definition of gifted and talented students, the content of the tests used in the identification process, and how tests are used, including different reference groups. For this reason, the Nagalieri General Ability Tests allow comparing students of the same grade by either using national or local norms. We've used national norms for a very long time. So by definition, a national norm is created using a very large sample of students who match the demographic makeup of the country. In a local norm, however, a student is compared to the same grade peers in the school building or school district. This scenario means the comparison group is more closely representative of the local community and its unique demographic makeup. A student's local norm score based upon individual school buildings will likely be different than their local norm score based upon a school district. For many years and in many states, we were required to use national norms to determine identification for gifted services. However, recently, many schools have begun using local norms. The question remains how to determine whether local or national norms are preferable to use. To answer this question, we must think about the purpose of identification. Most schools develop a curriculum that is grade based which assumes that the average student experiences continuous academic growth over the course of the school year. That said, educators recognize that students are statistically different on both ends of the learning spectrum, need different curricula and pacing for academic growth to occur. Identifying students as gifted means that they are so different from the mean or average that advanced academic services are required and are needed. Clearly, national norms are easier to use, and research shows that they can be effectively used with districts or schools that represent the national demographics. Use national norms if. One, your district represents the national demographic. Two, you successfully identify the top percent of the students in your school who need specialized services. Three, you are testing students in grades that are outside those that have been universally tested. Local norms, remember, can only be used when universally screening all students within a grade. Can't leave any out. Four, or a student is new to the school or district and was unable to be tested with their grade peers as part of the local norm sample. Research also shows that local norms can be more effective when used with districts or individual schools that do not represent the national demographics. To demonstrate, let's look at a case study of a mock school district. Imagine Central Creek School District. This large urban district is in the southwest part of the United States and spans several miles with neighborhoods differing greatly in household income, race, and ethnicity. The district policy states that students must score at the 97th percentile or above in both achievement and ability to be identified for gifted services. In the high achieving non-Title I schools, up to 20% of the students qualify in the top 3% in both achievement and ability scores. According to Central Creek School District policy, 
the gifted teacher position is staffed in correlation with the number of students identified. In the district's lower achieving Title I schools, few if any students are identified based on the district criteria. As a result, these schools do not have gifted teachers and the few gifted students that they do identify don't receive any services. To address the inequities in the district, the Director of Gifted Services, Dr. T, conducted a pilot study. And the schools that approximate the national population demographically, Dr. T successfully used national norms for identification at the 97th percentile or above. As you can see here, the number of students identified as gifted stayed relatively the same at approximately 20% of the population. For the Central Creek School District schools that did not match the U.S. Census data in racial or ethnic makeup, Dr. T used local norms for the ability to test scores. She was able to comply with her district's policy of 97 percentile cut score on the ability test by using school level local norms with the Naglieri General Ability Test. The distribution of scores among the sample of students within each school allowed for a proportional number of students to be identified at the 97th percentile or above local percentile on at least one of the three Naglieri General Ability Tests. The top students at each school were identified for services as they were the furthest away from the mean and would benefit from specialized instruction. This shows that using local norms in schools that vary demographically from the U.S. Census ensured that proportional numbers of students were identified and served at each location. You have completed this training video for the Naglieri General Ability Test. In this video, we have explained the differences between national and local norms, determined best practices on when to use national versus local norms, and finally, we showed how scores can be displayed and interpreted in the context of a case study. For more information on the Naglieri General Ability Test, please visit help.mhs.com slash MGI. Thank you.